Rachel Dawson's her performance is in the first Wives Club, LA Story, Honeymoon in Vegas. This Saturday, she can be seen on the small screen in HBO's new series, Sex and the City. Please welcome back the always delightful Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Stool? Oh, that's right. Yes, I'd be honored. Okay. There it is. Wow, but you weren't using really it. You amazing. curled up so nicely in the chair. You don't even need it. Well, I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. You look nice and summery. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice to see. You. I have to tell you, Matthew, in his in a groggy moment this morning, said, "Tell her I said hello." <laughs> She's always nice to me. Yeah. He was here for God's sake. He was yes. so fun. Well, we showed him all the toys and stuff. <laughs> yes, he likes that. How's married life? It's, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Do you enjoy it? Very much, very much, yeah. Is it a lot good. different than before you were married? It's, um, I don't want to take advantage of that stool. I'm yeah. use that. Um, uh, it's diff it's hard to articulate. It's, it's, it's for sure different, and there's a different weight to things. And, and, it, and it's the same, too, but it's, it's, it's the institution of marriage. I mean, it is really quite different, and, and it's wonderful, and I highly endorse it. Were you nervous beforehand? Did you think, uh, I don't know if I... No. No, 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 no. I was quite confident. You were ready. <laughs> yeah. I was ready. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, well, yeah. is it great to be able to be home now doing the series right that's here right. in New York City? Sex in the City is a new series on HBO. It's that's going right. to be on uh, Sunday nights. It's going to be on um, Sunday nights. There's a little special sort of uh, uh, two episodes sort of stuck back to back this Saturday night at 9.45. And then, of course, Sunday, the next night, we're on at 9 o'clock, which I realize competes with the, to with the Tonys. So I'm willing to forsake that this week for the theater and for you. But That's a Broadway girl for you! But we would like to encourage the viewers, of course, course. after this Sunday, since they'll have Saturday night to sort of get a little peek at the show and sort of get hooked, we hope. Yeah. Maybe next Sunday night they would consider viewing. Yes, they, and I'm sure they will. I'll tell them to. It's quite compelling. Yeah, Subject I hear it's matter. really it's very great. provocative. Now, are you um, excited to be able to be home? I mean, it must be great not having to go on a it's great. movie shoot. Yeah. It's great to be home. I mean, as you know, and it's nice to, to, to be able to photograph the city that I like so much and love so much and have a great romance with and, and to really be on a show that's really about New York and show the city and, um, and have it be smart and, and funny and wake up in your own bed and yeah. go to work with great people and then come home to your own bed. It's sweet, isn't it's it? It's wonderful. We it's have wonderful. a clip of you and, and Chris North. Is he in the show always? Chris North. He plays this fellow named Mr. Big. And um, <laughs> that's his name. He has no name. That's he has it. no first name. That's it. He's Mr. Big. Okay. And he's this sort of fellow that I, that I have a, some affection for. And we were like two ships. We continue to sort of pass one another. And this is, I think, a clip where, um, where I've, I've not had this, um, this, this date with him that I've looked forward to. And I, I run into him on the street. And I'm surprised by seeing him, I guess. Take Something a look, like Sarah that. Jessica, Sex in the City. Hinge. What? Your crossword puzzle. Five letter word to bring together hinge. Well, nice seeing you. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Uh, hey, just so you know, uh, I would have gotten hinge on my own. Maybe. I have no doubt. Now that I've got Jack hooked up on Sable again, maybe we could have dinner sometime? Hmm, I don't know. I'm good at crossword puzzles, yeah. I'm just not so good at people puzzles. Anywhere you want, just you and me. As I walked away, I had a thought. Maybe all men are a drug. Sometimes they bring you down. And sometimes, like now, they get you so high. Damn. It would have been so cool if I hadn't looked back. Sex and the City on HBO. Now, I heard a rumor that you're a huge fan of our newest correspondent, <gasps> Rebecca Sealfond. Oh, can I just tell you, when I was watching the show yesterday, I almost died. I watched her win that, that spelling bee last year, and I, was obs I became obsessed with her. I thought she was one of those fascinating people I'd ever met in my entire life. She is. So then they showed it again on ESPN a couple of times. I got Matthew to see it, and we became obsessed with her. Really? I needed to, I needed to, I wanted to get her and chuck her into my lip and just cart her around and look at her. Yeah, she She's is fascinating. She is a unique person. She is. 
And so then we tried to get the tape, and ESPN said I, they, I could only get it for $80, and I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap. You are. You're so very I cheap. So I didn't get it, and Matthew wanted it. I wanted to get it as a stocking stuffer for him. Yeah. So when I saw her on your show yesterday, I was so delighted. Did you stick in a tape and tape it? No, I didn't. He came out, and he was just like, I said, she was on. Rebecca was on, Rosie. And he said, did you tape it? And I said, no, I didn't tape it. And... But then I thought, well, I'm coming today, perhaps I might, okay, now I for heard less money, maybe money toward your brother's Listen, campaign. Listen, I heard that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or toward I... a gun control a lobby. Yeah, oh, that, I would enjoy that. But here, I heard that you enjoyed Rebecca, as do I. She's been on our show twice. We put this together for you. <laughs> Rebecca Seelfons, spelling spectacular. <laughs> we put it together. And I'm giving it to you and Matthew oh, for a boy. I knew you would like You could not have chosen a more wonderful or, or compelling young correspondent for the show, let me tell you. Isn't she something else? She is money in the bank. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, were you a good speller as a kid? I actually was a pretty good speller. I have, yeah. a, I have, a, I have a fairly good um, phonetic ear. Yeah, not me. Matthew's really bad. It, is he? And that's interesting because we're both yeah. born on the same day. Oh, that's right. And I can't spell either. I mean, really, truly, truly bad speller. But he's quite good in math and science, but he's a really... No, I, mean, I am a really bad speller. Really? Like, when I write the thank you notes for people doing the show, <laughs> Yeah. like, you know, I... My assistants, they're just used to it. I go, I'm in the middle of writing. I'm like, careful. They go, C-A-R-E-F-U-L. <laughs> I'm like, one word. They're like, yes. I'm like, okay. They don't even question anymore. It's like, but the sad thing is, it's not the hard words. It's like the easy words. No, it's words. the simple, obvious things that are... That are that Generous throws me for a loop. <laughs> generous, I constantly look up, especially because of the adverb generously. So I'm endlessly looking up generous, because that's a word you use in thank you notes. Yes. Am I right? Yes, generously. It's the O-U-S that really play some mind stuff with you. Throws you off. Yeah, sure exactly. it does. Sure it does. Were you a good student? I was a terrible student. I was ter I was daydreaming, you know, someday I'm going to get out of here and, you know, one of those But moments. you didn't even have a TV, so you couldn't daydream about being a no, TV no, no. star. No, no, no. I wanted to be in the theater. I wanted to go to the I wanted to be in the theater. I wanted to be up there, you know. I didn't want to be in a math class. I was a very poor student, and I had lots of encouragement and help, but I was just not inclined academically, as they say. And you succeeded. You made it to Broadway. You know that Sarah was an Annie originally. And then, once upon a mattress, yeah. you musical star, you. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love, I love working in the theater. I, and, I, and I love what you've done for the theater. It's extraordinary. Well, I enjoy it as much as you do. It's just a great, a great, wonderful cultural thing that is so American, that we have in this country that's so special. And for children to get to see it is... Just divine. Just I thought maybe divine. we should do a little uh, song because we're talking of theater. I think you're right. And when I heard the name of your new HBO series, Sex and the City, and I saw this little campaign of you nude with a power book on your lap, <laughs> I was concerned. Strategically placed. Yeah, I was concerned though, Sarah. I bet you might be concerned. I was concerned, so I thought I'd sing you my concerns in this little ditty. You ready? I'd like to answer your concerns in this ditty. Please do. Okay. Here we go. Hey, SJP back on TV. Don't mean to be rude, but tell me on sex and the city. Are you nude? Rosie, one tip, I never strip. There is no thing like that. My agent got that written in bold in my contract. Oh, that's good, you know, because it's great. Because to be honest, the whole subject turns me red. No kidding, saw you on the view when Barbara Walters said orgasm. Ah! <laughs> this cutie don't show booty, she don't play a hoe. Remember, there is some nudity. Oh, goodness. But it don't include me. That's good. It's sex and the city on HBO. Montreal to play a wee little part in Bette's movie. In Bette Midler's movie? Yes, I'm doing that. They told me you were presenting. They didn't ask me. I've been promoting it all week as Sarah really? Jessica Parker will be presenting. <laughs> well, perhaps Oops. we'll work something out. But you know, you'll listen, be watching, I'll be there in you? spirit and I'll be watching. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you thank for being you here, for darling. Thank you for having me and thank you for that song, you guys. That was awesome. Thank Excellent. You. We'll be right back with